Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit about yin and yang, uh, at least from my perspective. Uh, when I started college, I had come out of uh, high school, but I came out of grade 13 in Canada. There was an extra year of high school, uh, which in the States that counted as my first year of college once I, when I got there. And that uh, I, my first major was physical education. I was going to be a phys ed teacher, I think. I think it was because uh, my girlfriend was a phys ed major. Uh, at the time, not by the time I started. It was, you know, just a high school fling sort of thing. Uh, but when I got into phys ed, it was demanding and it was tough at the University of Windsor. And I looked and I had grade 13, then I would have four years of physical education, then one year of teacher's college, and that would put me out at six years uh, of post-high school work. And I thought, mm -hmm. so I started looking at options. And if I did uh, two years pre, I could, and then four years of chiropractic college, I could get out with one more year. It actually took me two years extra because I'm an intellectual genius. I don't know if you know that. I just, uh, whenever anything academic comes up, I can slow it down like you can't believe. But it took me two extra years than it would have been to phys ed teacher, so I became a chiropractor. But I remember when I was in uh, University of Windsor in physical education, I got a book on acupuncture. It was in vogue. It was the rage. It was our cultural relationships were, all, were opening up with China. And this whole ancient form of medicine was kind of being introduced to our culture. And I was always interested. I, I did transcendental meditation in the 70s at some point in time. Uh, but acupuncture had intrigued me and still does. And I read a book in acupuncture at one point. It said it, it takes years to become an acupuncturist. You can practice but you won't be an acupuncturist for years. And I became an acupuncturist after my first self-actualization class with Martin Sage. And what that meant to me was, a few days after it, my world went yin and yang. It went black and white. A lot of the gray areas that had consumed me, that had worried me, that had absolutely kept me in my head, as it were, thinking about stuff that didn't matter, the what ifs, should I have, could I have, would I have, did, 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 did. they went away. And I saw that the that it the theory is it's black and white. It's a dual theory. You know, it's, it doesn't transcend everything. But the black and white, the yin and yang, the male and female, uh, made things a lot, that made a lot more sense for me. Uh, I had done a lot of seminars. There was one that was try trying to homogenize everything, and they wanted me to get in touch with my feminine half. And I was a single doctor at the time, and I was trying to get in touch with as many feminine halves as I could, but I didn't find much value in emoting. It just doesn't, unless I'm really sad and I cry, but forcing it up didn't make any sense to me. Uh, so when I started to look and see, wait a minute, the world is yin and yang. It does make sense from this perspective. There's a masculine, there's a feminine, there's a day, there's a night, there's very few gray areas. Uh, my world became much simpler and much easier to understand.